Good day. This video shows you how to use the WordPress plugin JSON Content Importer version 1.4, especially the new admin area of the plugin and the new improved JCI block. Start by clicking on the JSON Content Importer on the left side, then you will see the Welcome and the other tabs of the admin area of the JCI plugin. First, let's check the installation. It's very likely that your WordPress meets the requirements uh, as there is nothing unusual. It's uh, especially worth taking a look at the cacher. If responses from an API are to be cached on the server, files will be created for this on the local server. For this, uh, the plugin must be able to write and read files. And also you have a statistic here, how many files are in the cacher. Uh, in the basic settings, you can choose different options. Uh, there's the SSL verification. If the API is not properly configured, you can uh, check uh, this uh, button switch off SSL verification. Then no verification is done and hopefully the API works. Next is the setting for the cacher. Uh, if uh, the uh, API request should be cached on your server, you can store uh, these API responses locally on your server and use it for a cache time. Uh, then uh, the plugin offers uh, to switch off some Gutenberg features. Some site builders need that and uh, uh, API requests sometimes need uh, authentication or expect uh, browser user agents. There you can add some data uh, for uh, APIs who require that. Now let's uh, really get started in step one. Uh, the task is to fetch the data from the API. This can be done by the Gutenberg block way or by the shortcode way. If the API does not give the expected answer or JSON or whatever, there are some hints to uh, deal with that. Once we have the data from the API, we want to work with it. This is step two. You can do this either by block or by shortcode, but we highly recommend to do it with the block. I'll show you exactly what this looks like in a moment. The other tabs are about support. At uh, doc.jsoncontentimporter.com is the JCI manual. At API jsoncontentimporter.com are many live examples, and there's uh, a way to get individual support. There's also a GCI bug bounty program. If you discover any vulnerabilities, let me know. This will be rewarded. Also important, the GDPR, the data protection regulation, some informations about that. And if uh, the free GCI is not enough, you can switch to the GCI Pro, which is uh, ind independent of the free one. It's same but different, much more powerful. And in case you want to in uninstall the plugin, uh, you can uh, delete all or only parts of it of the plugin. Let's take a look at this in practice. Uh, here we have an empty WordPress page. We add the GCI block as a regular block. We see an info text on the left side and the plugin and the block settings on the right side. Part of the block is a sample JSON feed that we can practice with. Uh, the path is already entered in the AP URL field. If we switch on the RP answer and uh, switch off the other two displays, we see the response of uh, this feed of this API. A standard template for displaying uh, the JSON data is also already in the block. If you turn off all additional displays, you can see uh, what the JSON and the template produce together. If you cha now change something like adding hello in capital letters, it immediately changes uh, the display on the left side. Let's now try with an external API that delivers JSON. For example, this JSON, a field with HTML, a field with date, and uh, some enumerations from one to seven. 
in the AP URL field, I copy pasted the URL of the new uh, API feed. And here we see the JSON uh, we saw just before in the other browser tab. Clicking on create GCI template for JSON, the plugin tries to create a template for this JSON and insert it here in the template field. So let's do it, create GCI template. It opens a modal window and here we go. This is uh, the template for the JSON we loaded from the URL. Close this window and here we see the new template and try template will show us the result. Switching off show AP answer gives us all data we had in the JSON. Now you can add code uh, to the template or delete fields. You will see the results immediately. For example, removing, let's say, the JSON stamp here. So JSON stamps vanish on the left side. Also can add some HTML like having some uh, bold style in the JSON data. Uh, please note a few minor things. Uh, the colon HTML here in the template tells uh, the plugin to output uh, this JSON field as HTML. This is why here a link is displayed. And uh, with date time here, you can format a date. Uh, how this works, you can read in the GCI manual. Here's a link to that. This is uh, doc.jsoncontentimporter.com. Uh, further down, it's also possible to make uh, additional settings. Information about that is also available in the GCI manual. The preview of this page shows us the content as you've seen it in the uh, GCI blog. So this is the way to add JSON to uh, WordPress in a very simple way with the JSON Content Importer plugin. Thank you for watching. I'm always happy for your reviews on wordpress.org. Thanks a lot. Enjoy.